Um, hello, this is uh, RJ Dent in my library and today the author we're going to be looking at, as you can see, is um, Harlan Ellison, uh, a very good writer. He, this is the, uh, the essential Ellison, a uh, 35-year retrospective and it contains short stories, extracts from some of his books, um, screenplays for Soldier and for um, Shattered Like a Glass Goblin. Um, also, uh, some of the iconic stories like Repent, Harlequin, said the TikTok Man, Jeff Dees Five, and so on and so forth. A very, very good um, collection. There is, however, now a 50-year retrospective, which is um, even better. It's on my list. I haven't got it yet, but I will be getting it. Um, right in the um, story collections. Uh, this one, this fantastic, the Deathbird stories, is is really really good. Um, it's got the whimper of whip dogs, which is also in this um, um, collection. Shattered like glass goblin, um, the Deathbird itself, Rock God, very good, and Pain God. Uh, it's, it's actually a very very good collection. Uh, this one, the beast that shouted love at the heart of the world, w was quite difficult to get hold of. I think it's been reissued now, but anyway, that's uh, that's a very good one as well. Um, I just want to tell you some of the stories that are in here that are incredible. A Boy and His Dog, made into a film with um, Don Johnson. Excellent sort of post-apocalyptic um, story. Very, very good. D lovely collection. Really enjoy reading that. All the Sounds of Fear that's um, that's a very good uh, collection as well. Um, the actual title story, All the Sounds of Fear, is about a method actor who yeah, basically becomes or uses his method too much, and it's uh, it's a fantastic story. Uh, just trying to think what else is it. I'll oh, repent, Harlequin. Yeah, that's um, in here. And I have no mouth, and I must scream. It's very very good actually. Um, Approaching Oblivion, this is quite a nice one as well. Um, what have we got in here? Oh, we've got Hindsight and Poorly Chart. Yeah, and this is um, Erotophobia, that's another good one. This, that, that, yeah, it's actually a very good, uh, another good collection there. Time of the Eye, um, this is, um, yeah, crikey, I haven't read this for a while. I think this is the one with Are You Listening? Yeah, Are You Listening? Yeah. Uh, Lonely Ache, um, Ye of Little O, Ye of Little Faith, yeah. Again, again, a, ver a very interesting um, and entertaining collection with some quite, as as with always with Harlan, as always with Harlan Ellison, um, quite profound points that he makes in his stories. Uh, make, they make one think. Um, this one, From the Land of Fear, um can't remember okay this yeah this is um a nice one because it has um four words to each of the stories and sometimes harlan ellison can be at his most entertaining when he's introducing something he's got a real style um tricky one to get hold of ellison wonderland um sort of a compilation really I would say uh, Man on the Mushroom uh, the introduction uh, The Sky is Burning that's a very good story uh, In Lonely Lands Rain Rain yeah I mean again you know fantastic collection there really good um, really really good stories um, this one Shatterday um, it's um Saturday itself, the story, was made into a, I think it was a Twilight Zone short film um, starring Bruce Willis and is um, very, very good. Now this one here, you've got a Jeff D is Five, um, a Saturday itself, sort of a novella almost. Um, the Man Who Was Heavily Into Revenge, oh yeah, that's a good one as well. Yeah, no, again, again, a very good... Uh, very good collection of short stories. Um, now we come to the. Uh, actually, no. Before we come to that, let's. Uh, oh, no, that's okay. Let's do D Dangerous Visions. Now, for those of you who don't know, Dangerous Visions was a collection 
uh, put together, edited, compiled and brought out by and introduced by Harmon Ellison and it became controversial it um, became controversial because um, the brief was that Ellison would publish stories that couldn't be published anywhere else and in that respect he managed to get together an incredible collection of very very cutting edge short stories as you know as the, he turned down a couple to his regret uh, J.G. Ballard's um, crucifixion considered as downhill motor race um, which uh, he said he regretted but he, he claimed he never never got it in the post so anyway uh, the sequel to that again Dangerous Visions again same idea um, again and it's a double volume this time it became quite a big book but there are some incredible short stories in here really worth reading if you can get hold of them volume 1 and volume 2 um, the um, yeah this was um, a novel of the Star Lost Harlan Ellison wrote a television series called Star Lost and he came up with a, a really good idea for it um, because of the constraints of television it never really happened it, it happened in a very disfigured distorted and bastardised form really so Edward Bryant got the got permission from Harlan Ellison to novelise it and it is a really really good novel Phoenix Without Ashes a novel of the Star Lost very very good uh, my probably my personal favourite uh, Strange Wine recommended by Stephen King um, got some lovely stories in it really has uh, from A to Z in the chocolate alphabet <laughs> that's absolutely wonderful um, Cro Croton that's yeah again that's that's lovely Boulevard of Broken Dreams Strange Wine itself some really really good stories in this collection and again I say it's a personal favourite then we've got Harlan Ellison writing about television sort of short essays The Glass Teat it's called self explanatory title there um, very interesting if you want to know what's wrong with television read that and then finally we've got the um, collect two collected beast that shouted love at the heart of the world which as I've already said I've got that in paperback here um, but also love ain't nothing but sex misspelled um, so two books by Ellison in one are sort of very good and I have to say that's my pride and joy my Harlan Ellison collection in my library